Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to part 13 of the Wales campaign. Now unfortunately I did record this episode on DX3. I was trying a few things out and basically the file fucked up. Just to put it simply, it messed up and I had to, basically I just reloaded uh, the save file from the previous episode. So basically what had happened was I had fought a battle around Oxfordshire and that, that was all that happened. That's all that you guys have missed out on, but of course the campaign you know, it does pick up from the last episode, so it, it, you, you, you haven't missed anything really. We are still besieging London, attacking them there, and we are still, you know, we, we did defend Oxford in the last turn. There's probably English armies around this area. I need to get my spies into position really to see if there are anything here. See, yes there are. There we go. Big English army. So yeah, there we go. So this is part 13. We're back. He was in fraps because even though people complain about fraps it's, it's reliable okay i've never had a problem with fraps as far as my files go without vegas kind of not loading it up because that's what happened with direct the extra i recorded a good half hour and the whole thing just wouldn't load up at all and i, I definitely checked all my settings i definitely had all the the right stuff because i tested it beforehand but there we go what happens that's life sometimes anyway my is going to be oh shit it's going to be maintaining a siege here so they can come out and attack us at the fort. You're moving there. Duh, this guy can go there. Pembrokeshire has rebels nearby. So we want to make sure we got some units to counteract this. So a couple of Gwent raiders would probably help out there. Um, what else do we have on the run at the moment? Army going to Oxfordshire. It's going to go to the fort there actually. Uh catapults and some English billmen going to Oxford to reinforce. I think the king can probably come out of Arundel. He's going to come out of Arundel and go there. Um, we can't actually take London because we don't have any siege equipment. That's fine by me. The king of course is there, King Henry. My aim was to try and get in there and attack. I wonder if I could get a spy in there. Open the gates. Oh, it won't work though, will it? It's a shame, it would have been nice if I could have done that. And we have an army then, Fort Powell aiming towards Nottingham. And then Prince David's going towards Carlisle. So we've got a couple of provinces that we are hoping to take in this part in the next few turns. I have a navy now as well, Captain Yoyan. So I am thinking about getting an army over to um, Ireland and trying to cause havoc there. I don't really have enough troops to do that at the moment, but may as well keep our ships here in the, at the port ready for plan B because I've taken the south pretty much apart from Canterbury and London so it's not really an issue at the moment um can I recruit at Arundel I don't think I can nope uh, Winchester what can you give me Winchester don't need that ship for now instead we're going to need some units so let's see English billmen heavy English billmen and some spear militia uh, actually we'll get some English billmen again because they are better I think Winchester that have some reinforcements there this army can be pushed right out and we're going to be reinforcing this area here where all the big armies are so we're going to be moving out with captain Gurganai. you're going to that fort with him you both you both can link up we have a nice sort of half stack army there at oxford to reinforce and Llewellyn can come from the other flank um it depends really on what happens here whether we take london or not um norwich is on my radar as well as canterbury but we can't quite go for those lands yet unfortunately Let's push up slightly with my spy just to see if anything around here don't need to be at canterbury for now no there's nothing there and eventually we'll get some units at Arundel, but for now I think we're okay. We are rebuilding and re-establishing ourselves there. And I think that's pretty much it. So merchant is merchant there. Rebel army, uh, peasants, that's fine. Longbowmen, yeah, we shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. Cardiff, what do we have here? Spear militia, just checking what we have. Oh, this army, Gloucester. Do we need these armies in Gloucester? Probably not. Oh, we need some armies here though. We are actually recruiting some more cavalry, so I don't worry about that. That's fine. Nice little half stack of army from Gloucester would be beneficial for me. And I think that's the end of the turn. So this is turn 16. We are going to go on to turn 17. Let's begin. What will the English do? They are attacking Oxford. Oh, we are going to have this battle at Oxford again by the looks of it. Or at least I will be having it again. You guys will be seeing it for the first time. And the armies attack me at London. Oh, what is going to happen at London? Interesting. Captain Edgar and King Henry have attacked me. 
and we have a battle on our hands. I could actually withdraw, which is not, not a bad situation, really. I'm going to withdraw. Sir, we should retreat. Yes, my lord. And I think, and well, I'm hoping that was the right choice. I think it is the right choice. I've drawn them out and I've pinned them down. That's all I really care about at the moment. Forcing the king to stay at London and not actually come out and attack is a decent strategy in the long term, anyway. Edward departs on a crusade. <laughs> At the request of the people state, Edward, a powerful English general and a member of the royal family, has departed from the Holy Lands. Candidate for adoption, Trihelain of Brynhainiog. Thank you, we'll have you. Don't need the guild at the moment. New mission. Um, needs four units at Arundel. Civil disorder. Okay, so Arundel wants units and we can't recruit them at the moment, so they're not going to get anything, are they? Oh my, Anselm of Bapton. If I can take his army out, I haven't got a worry in the world of this campaign because he is the only guy which got a big army, really. Right, so recruitment report. Lots of lots of troops. Lots of money being spent on shit that we don't care about. We are the largest faction as well, which is very good indeed. I'm just going to skip through these quickly. There we go. So Oxford's besieged. We know that. Let's get these ballistas into this army here. You guys can attack the fort and get some rams going. And you can link up, you're not far away. Yeah, I'm happy about this. We're going to reinforce Oxford. and If we do lose Oxford in this battle, we'll take it in the second battle. So it's not really an issue. Uh, how many turns? Two turns till surrender there, so we'll get through eventually. We have a bigger army. You just don't really see the need to waste men attacking a settlement, a, a fort, when, they can, when I can force them to attack me. There's no real rush or urgency at the moment to go from there. These English armies, or units are going to go to the fort i think would be good maybe yes because if they do go past the fort and go to winchester i can pin them down from two sides so we're going to do that go there and then the king can join up to the fort and we've got a decent army at the fort arundel of course needs troops badly we are repairing the leather tanner and we have no unit types available i think it's because they exterminate this settlement i think i did well, I probably did. They don't like me, so I could end up having a rebellion if I'm not too careful. Um, yeah, I don't want that, do we? I could send one of these spear militia in there, which actually helps it. Winchester's a bit pissed. But oh well, Winchester, what are you going to do? We're going to actually get some spear militia and Welsh militiamen just to boost the numbers slightly here. So basically, the plan is to defend Oxford with these two units. And then, if we lose it, we try and take it with these two. We should do with these two. And get rid of the people at the fort as well. So we'll consolidate this area. We should have a decent enough force here. And a decent enough force with the king, King Llewellyn. To take on Anselm of Bapton. Because he's got the biggest army in England. And he's their main general, by the looks of things. And we haven't fought him yet. He's been running around the countryside all over this campaign. Yet he hasn't actually fought us. Fort Paul Howell, on the other hand, can attack Nottingham now. I think Nottingham's weak. It seems relatively weak, yes it is. They've only got a few armoured sergeants and Edmund, of course, so it may force Vortiper, it may force Anselm of Bapton back on the retreat. Now, this Captain Howell, what do we do with you? I could actually use Captain Howell to go after this army of Captain Christopher and then to Canterbury. That would be decent enough, I think, and would cause enough diversion. So we're going to do that. We're going to go after Captain Christopher. And we are going to auto-resolve this one, and hopefully we won't lose. Clear victory. Only lost 14 men. That is what I wanted. He is the man of the hour. Look at that. Winning first loyal marks of sport, skilled bootcraft, and all that crap. But yes, we're going to take you as a general. How will God and we? We've got a general. Fuck yeah. And he's going to be leading the assault against Canterbury. So basically, my little scuffle in London. It's just a, just a diversion. We're going to take Canterbury. Arundel. Right, that's fine. Winchester, we're going to get another unit soon. Uh, Gloucester has recruited some horsemen, which I need desperately to get into one of these armies. So you could join up with Captain Gwig and I. And we have one horseman unit remaining, which can join up then with uh, Mighty. Although Shaftesbury needs some units too, so we need to get some stuff here. Gwent Raiders for the win. And send those cavalry to Shaftesbury. There we go. That stops that. And we've got units coming in Gloucester, I believe. Can't remember I did. Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, I know what we don't need. Get rid of that Gwent Raider unit there. Recruit it here instead. Oh, look at this for quick management. Went right in there. Look at that. That will help Gloucester. 
And Launceston, oh, it's a bit of a waste of a settlement, this is, isn't it? Um, what's the settlement like, though? Mainly Welsh now, which is good. Public order is better rather than... Insurgence is the main thing which will go once we take out these dudes here. English merchant. Two English merchants. They, they probably cause problems as well. Okay, overall, I'm pretty happy. Oh, Irish. Look, it's the Irish. All right, lads. That's a weird accent. Um, <laughs> Irish ship there. That's not a problem. Just attack them for the sake of it. <laughs> Just zoom out right now. I think we have a pretty decent idea of what we got planned for this campaign. Um, oh, I don't want to rush my... My turn. I'm just thinking. Defense, 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 attack, pin, two sides, two flanks, and center of Bapton, drawn into Winchester if he goes for Winchester. Arundel is fine for now. Winchester might lose Winchester, but it's worth it to take out Anselm of Bapton. Canterbury is going to be fighting my new general. How will Gorin we? My spy is spying up Norwich. I think Norwich is. Oh my god, Norwich only got two ballistas and a horse unit. That's not bad at all. And then I have my heir, Prince David. That's why I haven't moved yet. He's going to Carlisle. He's going to take Carlisle for me and it's going to be relatively... Oh my goodness, look at that. Gael Sinegar. Holy crap. Didn't expect this, did we? Did not expect this bullshit. Might want to pull off this. Oh, we're okay to siege at the moment. We can probably... We can't at the moment, but we can get some units from Lancaster to reinforce eventually. And also Chester as well. Don't have much in the way at Chester, but you know what I mean. Anyway, just check everything. Double check everything. Get some ballistas in. Well, towards here. Just to reinforce. I'm making sure I've got enough units around the perimeter of my my forces so if I do lose a battle I got something else to back them up. I think our campaign management has been pretty decent so far prop apart from one or two little mishaps. Anyway, do I want to attack Captain Arthur now? The thing is this Anselm could attack now. I could rise up with this army although I wouldn't advise it. They got lots of crossbowmen I think so mercenary crossbowmen. I'd have no cavalry to attack them with. If I had cavalry I would do it but I only have one horse and he's too far away so it's not going to happen and these guys can't get there because fort's in the way. Anyway, I think we're going to end turn. Turn 18, guys. Right, they are attacking me. Perfect. I wanted them to attack me rather than me attack them. Much easier to defend than attack. So we want this... Hello, it's army control by AI. No, we want to control this army ourselves. So we're going to fight this battle, the defense of Oxford. It's actually a one-to-one -one ratio, so it could go either way. We have the reinforced army, but they have the bigger numbers, so interesting to see what happens here. Of course, it doesn't really matter what happens in this battle, because the next battle which matters when Althem of Bapton might actually attack us on the map. Yeah, so start deployment. Don't need to listen to speeches, because I do a better speech myself. Men of Wales. So, what do they have? They have some ladders, and they have some... They have one uh, ram. So, what we want to do is get my bows... Onto the wall, decent position to fire upon them there. We want to set some militiamen up there as well to, re to reinforce, and then everything else. Spears and spear militia. Oh shit, they've got the worst units ever, haven't we? <laughs> to fight this battle. But it's not a problem because. Oh, let's get formation. What is going on? What is this bullshittery? Dudes. What is this bullshit? Come on now. Don't pathfind. Right, that's better. That's what I wanted. Hell yeah. Start the battle. Reinforcements on the way. They're just going to go run to the capture point. Where's the capture point? Bigger. Get them to the capture point as quickly as they can to reinforce. And hopefully we can pin them down long enough with what we have. Now, the mercenary crossbowmen, if they come through the gate, they're going to be squashed. They have armoured swordsmen fighting here. So I'm hoping the bows they have on the wall can continue to aim on them. We have our towers that are doing damage as well. Which is fantastic. I could actually hit the ram with this. Attack the ram. Not doing enough damage, are we? I'm actually going to be sending some middle noise spearmen up here. They're going to get through the gate, so we may as well prepare. 
with some nice tasty formations. There we go. Nice rain coming down. Nice Welsh rain. Although this is English soil. <laughs> Oxfordshire. This is how far my ambitions have taken me so far. Men. Brave men of Harlech on the wall. And the ladders are up. Our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. It's time for butcher's work. And we're doing damage Curses. to the, the armoured swordsmen. This is good though, they're taking hits. Which is what we wanted. They are going to do damage to the gate, of course. We do have some Meridnoid spearmen on the walls as well. I'm actually going to be pulling down, or pulling back my, my bow units now. They can actually retreat off the wall. And get down for me as quickly as they can. They're going to get caught in a fist fight up here now. Not heavy infantry is going to cause lots of damage. Oh, and we're doing plenty of damage to the ram, are we? 28% damage, and then 96%. They're going to be in through the gates. They're in. Right, that's fine. Not a problem at all. Don't panic, guys. I got this under control at the moment. The smallest unit here. We're going to cause a shield drawn formation. If they charge, which they are. They're going to be in a difficult position. Get my archers. The thing is, if their uh, units stay here, they're just going to get towered on by towers. Charge! Oh, hit by the door. Excellente! Spearmen. Armoured swordsmen. They've taken lots of... Look at that, only 22 remain. That's fantastic. That's good. That's do. That is very good. I like it when they, my men do good. Might not need the reinforcements after all, which is even better. And look at... Oh my goodness. I like defending in this game. The general flees. He has had enough. He doesn't want to fight me anymore. The coward that he is. Oh yes, we've captured him. This is good. 14 armoured swordsmen remaining. It's the armoured swordsmen that are going to cause me the most damage. The mercenary crossbowmen are not going to do well. In a sword fight against me, so we are okay on that front. I'm trying to try and get my bows now into a position. Well, they've broken the gates, but they're not pursuing me. They're all running away like cowards. And the reinforcements aren't needed after all, but they are going to be needed in the second part when I take them and put them inside the settlement. So that's good for me. We haven't taken much of a loss, I don't think. What have we lost? Only 10% we've lost, so it's even better. Meridai Spearman still fighting the heavy infantry up there. And they are reforming, so they're going to try and take me on again, which is even good. Even better. We're just going to stay like where we are. We are currently fighting armoured swordsmen. My archers are going to fire into them from close range. Hopefully we get some kills. And we've slowed down the armoured swordsmen up here. And we've done a fantastic job of containing them with my Meridai Spearman. Where are my billmen? Where are they? Oh, they haven't even gone to the settlement yet. This is terrible. Guys, hurry up. Oh, we're needed. I've actually lost one unit now. One very nice beamer on the wall has routed. Oh, what the hell? Glitch. Glitch alert. With it. Noble death. Oh, shit. So my generals ran away. Let's fire the armoured swordsman up here, though. From close range. Let's get some shield drones going. Let's contain ourselves. At the walls. Because we are getting outflanked, so a Shiltron would help with that. Oh, we all routed now. Don't rout on me, you fucking idiots. Why route now when you've killed most of them? We've killed 68% and you're all routing. What the hell? Oh, I hate battles, I guess. Only 12 and 22 remaining. We still hold the towers, so the towers are still going to fire upon them and kill them, hopefully. And the Shiltron's holding. And hopefully we can kill them. 22 and 11 remaining. Bows. Right, former secondary formation here. And we can continue to fire from close range. We're going to lose the gates. Lost the gateway. We're going to form up to a secondary formation here. Get the Shiltron going with this unit in the centre. Spear Militia is going to run. We're going to keep reforming and reforming down the streets. Hopefully this works. I need this to work for me.
Hopefully we can get some kills. I think we are. Hellway Bowman. Unifier, please. They've glitched out on me. No. You're joking. Come on. You fucking idiots. Could do with you getting some kills on them, please. That's more like get to get into a position and then fire. Spear militia. Get into a decent enough formation. Actually charge the spear militia in. What else do we have down the street? Nothing. Where's Bill Men? Oh my god, they're too far away. Oh, they're at the gates. They're not too far away. It's fine. Just get them in down the street here. And we'll actually tell my ballistas just to fire. So when they do get there, they'll automatically start firing. They do have crossbowmen, which have a bullet coming in yet. Spearmen have come in now to assist. All three units of spearmen attacking. 11 and 18 remaining. Plus the bowmen are still... Oh, they're not even firing. Why aren't you firing? You have ammunition. Use it. Why aren't you attacking? Attack. That's better. So I wanted some arrows fire. And we've routed them. Get out of my house. Kill them all. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain oh. true and steadfast, <laughs> victory will be I'm ours. gonna chase them down. I'm gonna retake the gatehouse and clear out the rest of their mercenary crossbowmen, if at all possible. Right, it's under our control now, I think. Our flags are back on top. We've retaken it. Ooh, that was good. Seven remaining, nine remaining. Are these towers firing? Yes, they are firing upon the enemies. Oh, and they're getting some kills as well, even better. Need to get my men up on the walls. And get my billmen up here and get my ballistas or catapults to attack and fast forward this now because it's going to be quite boring to watch. Oh, and they're going to come and attack me even better. Hell yeah, so we want. We want suicidal maniacs to attack us. Hey, look at that. They're getting burned alive. Burn. And we routed one of them straight away. And the rest should follow, you would think. Yes, there we go. We've killed the English bastards. End the battle. Woo! That was a good battle. I enjoyed that. Got there in the end. Got our victory and we've... We're going to ransom them. Which has been accepted. A wise move by the English. Oxford is relieved. And Nottingham have sallied out to attack me. Vortipo Howell has a chance to write his name in the folklores of Welsh history. For he has a battle against Edmund, a very experienced general who has slightly less men than me. Now we have bows, we have some cavalry, and we have some heavy infantry. Let's, this is going to be a good battle. Let's, let's fight this battle on the battle map, guys. We win this, we take Nottingham, we take the heart of England. We rip out the heart of the English scum. And we can form our own empire by taking Nottingham. Anselm of Baptum, the last hope of England, will be trapped in the centre. Time to form up quickly. They've come out to attack us. We don't need these siege equipment, so quickly drop them. Get my bows straight away lined up into a position. Assemble them quickly. Need to be very quick like this now, so. I'm gonna form up here. Secondary units. Form them up on the left flank. That will do for me, that will do. Cavalry and general formed into a formation to be used on the left flank behind the enemy, behind our lines. And then you can drop your siege equipment, Gwent Raider. And all of you are going to be grouped again into a singular line. This is going to be very untidy. I need to be very quick about this as well. Right, remaining skirmishers. They're going to come out straight away. Run out, actually, to distract the general's bodyguard. Now, general's bodyguard have 21 men remaining, or 21 men in their force. 
use fire whenever possible group up use fire auto fire on get some kills now attack general's bodyguard cavalry attack cavalry attack we can pin out the general and take him out straight away get kills on him quickly come on lads attack this is good Can't get carried away though. We should kill the general. Need to focus. Need to focus. Big line coming towards me. How many have we killed? 18. My general could lose this as well. It would be a good sacrifice for Vortiper though. I would be willing to sacrifice Vortiper Howell if it actually meant taking Nottingham or giving myself a chance to take Nottingham in the future of this campaign. I need to be very quick. And sturdy by this. We are stretched in a bad way. We are getting lots of arrow fire on them. Take me. Very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Swordsmen, billmen, skirmishers, military spearmen, attack. Good tidings. Yes. The enemy general lies dead. Got him. Sent the base cur to hell. Fuck yeah. What they have. Just charge them all. Charge in, men. We've got a chance to kill them all. Get my dude out, Creel Die. I know he will for a fact. Ignore the spearmen. Attack the center. Oh, we're losing the center badly. This was bad. It got the, I got the kill on the general. As a matter of fact, we can retreat now, I think. I did what I wanted, and I was to kill the general. Retreat with everyone. Control A, withdraw. I got what I wanted. I would be half tempted to try and sneak in, but it won't work. See who pursues me, or do they fall back? There might be an opportunity for us here still. Make sure all my men are withdrawing. Draw, you fools. Don't need you to come back. What do we have? Armoured sergeants chasing us. Lots of them. Uh, I don't have much of a selection, do I? Right. Pause. Armoured sergeants there. Play. Grand Raiders can go back in. I got a chance to get a few more kills. I'm going to take it. With the bows. Close range as well. And we're right on the border. The cheap shot on the on the enemy, one which I will to take. We have English billmen or, or skirmishers nearby as well. The general's safe anyway. That's all that matters. My lord, only half our force remains. Right, now would be a good time to withdraw. Got enough kills. Go over the line, guys. Come on, over the line you come. I'll do. Excellent. Excellent. It says clear defeat, but I see that as a very interesting opportunity. It's a tactical defeat, I call it. A very good tactical defeat. I can fall back and another that family member of the English is gone. Unfortunately, the English have attacked me at the fort now. Oh, shit. <laughs> They aren't, they aren't going to assault me though, and oh, they haven't attacked me there either. Okay, so plenty of things have happened now. Um, prisoners have been executed. I think they're fed up now, the English. End of turn, we are uh, minus 598, so we need to sort that out soon. Trade increase, he's a fair fighter, he's got chivalry, and he's noble in battle. So Vortipa Howell actually increased because of that battle, and we've recruited some units in Winchester and Gloucester. Relations worsen with Scotland, which is bad. Can we actually become an ally with you? If you were to give us money, though, I want you to pay me 500. Balanced, make offer. Thank you. Your Engl your Scottish bastards. We're now allies. Look at that bullshit right there. <laughs> I'm gonna use my diplomat to check out what's over here. 
I think it's York up over there, I think. Now, three turns of surrender, but they've got a general nearby, so I'm going to have to think about this. Although, saying that, they are spear militia, archer militia, peasants. Holy crap, we could, we could wipe their smile off their face with Prince David, which I might do in the next part. I'm going to be looking to end this episode soon. I'm just going to double check and recap. So we have our... We've taken the head of the English general, but unfortunately we're in a pickle right now because we are trapped inside a fort, which I'm happy about because forts are easier to defend from or are easy to defend on, especially when you have a general that's got lots of cavalry like mailed knights and feudal knights. So that won't be too much of an issue. Right. Oh yes, of course. Kaul Goronwy is going to attack Canterbury for me. Just get some rams in there. We could take Canterbury and that would give us the complete control of the south. And I'm, un I'm a bit annoyed because I don't know where Anselm of Bapton has gone. King Henry's in, the f in London. I don't like this. I don't know where he's gone. Captain Philip. Get the spies going, I think. Sire. Uh. Approaching quietly with discretion, sire. I don't know where he is. Sire. Don't know where he's gone. With Shit. Sire. Right, so we've got one more turn now to get this fort here. You can push on and then reinforce Shaftesbury, Gloucester, and those weaker regions. Got a couple of ships here. We're going to get some more before we think about because this is where we're going to be invading Ireland and Scotland from, from the south. We're going to go right around and attack Ireland. In the future, but that's kind of a, a long term project that we're going to have in this campaign. I can join up this army to give us a very big army now to take this fort. I can actually assault them. I'm going to water resolve this because they have barely anything at this fort. Nice little water resolve for us. Captain Alfonso, 58 against 931. 4 to 1. Clear victory. Only lost 12 men. And we took the fort from the English. So a very good victory for us there again. Excellent. That's fortified our position right now, and we can actually push out with these units, which we will be doing. Captain Caradog, lovely Welsh name. He's going to sit there in the centre because he can go for London now. Captain Caradog. I don't know where, they, where he's gone. Anselm of Bapton. I don't like the look of it. I hate not knowing where the big force is. Anyway, we got a nice little battle on our hands up here. Prince David's going to be fighting Giles Sinegar in the next part. But I'm going to end this episode here. So I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.